Hey, welcome to today's video. In this video, I just want to show a quick little uh, trick that you could do to create custom hands for your characters. So for example, um, if you wanted to uh, get something going, you can go to Lightbox and go to Projects. And in Projects, you will see a mannequin folder. If you go in there, there's these great base meshes that are Z-spheres to get you started. So for example, if I want to create this hand, I'm going to click on it. And one thing to pay attention to for anyone who is new to ZBrush, uh, this is a ZPR file, which means if I double click on it, it's going to reset everything that I'm doing. So if I'm sculpting and I'm sculpting a custom character and then I double click on this, it's actually going to ask me to reset the entire um, ZBrush project, right? So that's super important. So make sure you save your tool uh, before you grab the ZPR file because then what you could do is you can grab the ZPR file, bring this in, and then import your uh, tool into your, uh, into your project and kind of merge everything together, right? All right, so here's the reason for this video. If I turn the floor on, uh, I wanted to show you guys how, how do you move this around? If you wanted to create a custom uh, gesture, all you have to do is just change the size of your uh, brush and you can move these around, right? If I go to move, um, you know, I can move them and position them in any way I want, right? And if I wanted to, uh, after I move these around and I'm happy with the pose, I can press A and that's going to turn it into uh, a preview of what the mesh would look like. If I wanted to m turn this into an actual sculptable mesh, I would have to go into um, adaptive skin and then I have to say uh, make adaptive skin, right? When I click on that, that's going to create another tool and now uh, you can see if I press A, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Now this is actually a sculptable blob of mesh, right? A clay that you can just use as a starting point. Now if I go back here and press A, that's going to allow me to go back into Z-Sphere mode. If you click on the Z-Sphere, uh, you will see when you select it, you have these two joints that become visible. Now as soon as you move, they go away. But when you select each Z-Sphere, you can see these joints that uh, are shown, right? Now the cool thing about this is um, if you click on it, you can actually use these joints instead of uh, the Z-Sphere for rotation. So if I wanted to, for example, make a fist, right? Instead of going uh, here and trying to play with this, uh, let me go to uh, rotate, right? If I select this and attempt to rotate it, it's a little bit hard to control because I, I don't really have a visual of what's going on or what's happening, um, right? It's not very intuitive. But if I go into move and click on this and then use this joint, right, I can literally just one by one, right, move these into position and have a lot more control, right? So this is really powerful if you just take your time and create something that, uh, you know, that you need, right? So maybe you need a fist or uh, something like that. How do you move this around, right? If you wanted to take this hand and move it up to align it with the character that you're sculpting. Uh, how do you do that? So if you just simply grab the move brush and attempt to move it, it's not going to work, right? Because um, they're just all little pieces. So if you wanted to move it all at once, all you need to do is just simply make your brush super large to uh, include the entire, uh, all the Z spheres within the radius of this brush, right? So you can see that right now it's including everything. So now if I grab this and try to move it, you can see that it's, it is indeed moving around. And if I wanted to, you know, for whatever reason, match the scale of the character that I'm doing, uh, same thing, I can just go to scale, make sure my brush is super large. And uh, if you grab this end link, right, it's gonna allow you to scale it and do whatever you want. So very useful little trick. And uh, I think that's gonna be super important, again, for anyone who is new to take uh, enormous advantage of these mannequin hands and z-spheres because they uh, they are a little bit tricky when you first see them and it's not really clear how to uh, move them around or use them right and the other way you could do it there's another way you could do it if you wanted to change the scale of this you could also go to uh, deformation and in deformation you have a few options here right one of them is size so I can size it this way. That's another way of doing it. Or I can rotate it. So that's a great way to uh, control everything without worrying about the size of your uh, brush, right? You can uh, rotate it uh, just using the deformation panel, right? So keep all of that in mind. You can even offset it here as well. 
So it's a little, uh, you know, a little less organic, but uh, very useful as well. You can even inflate the z-spheres. If I inflate my z-sphere and press A for preview, you can see the mesh uh, that I will generate to sculpt on is going to be much, much different, right? So all of that is really good stuff. Uh, take advantage of this and uh, I'll see you guys in our next video.